Have you ever wondered how the rise of social media is stealing the innocence of our children? It's a sobering thought, isn't it? The internet, a world of endless opportunities, has become a double-edged sword, ushering in what's being called the genocide of childhood. Our children are relentlessly exposed to adult content and societal pressures on these digital platforms. They're being bombarded with images and messages dictating what they should look like, how they should behave, and who they should aspire to become. This pressure to conform to unrealistic standards is causing a devastating loss of individuality. The concept of self-awareness is being warped, as children are taught to constantly compare themselves to others. The simple joys of childhood, like playing outside and using their imagination, are being overshadowed by this pressure to be someone else. Children are being pushed into adulthood before they are ready, robbing them of their opportunity to naturally discover and embrace their true selves. Social media, while a tool for connection, has become a curated and often unrealistic version of people's lives. This digital landscape, filled with carefully chosen images and crafted narratives, has fostered an environment of constant comparison. It's like a never-ending race, where the finish line keeps moving further away. Children, in their formative years, are particularly susceptible to these pressures. They find themselves in a world where they are constantly measuring their worth against the seemingly perfect lives of others. The result? Feelings of inadequacy and a profound loss of self-worth, all at an age when they should be exploring their identity and embracing their individuality. What's more, this comparison isn't limited to just peers. It extends to celebrities, influencers, and even fictional characters. The unrealistic beauty standards, the perfect lifestyles, the unattainable achievements, they all contribute to this growing pressure. The magic of childhood is being overshadowed by the pressures of the online world. It's time we reassess these influences and rethink our approach to social media's role in our children's lives. So what can we do to protect our children from this onslaught? A few potential solutions might come to mind. First, consider limiting screen time. By reducing the hours spent online, we can help shield our young ones from the constant bombardment of unrealistic societal expectations. Second, monitoring online activities is crucial. It's not about invading their privacy, rather. It's about ensuring they navigate the digital world safely and responsibly. Third, let's encourage offline play and creativity. Let them explore the world with their own eyes, not through the lens of someone else's Instagram feed. Let them build castles in the sand, not in Minecraft. Most importantly, we need to have open conversations about social media pressures. Let's talk about the joys and pitfalls of the digital age, and let's do it without judgment or fear. It is our responsibility as adults to create a safe and nurturing environment for our children to grow and thrive in. The internet is not going away, and neither is social media, but we can choose how we let it influence our children. It's high time we take a step back and reconsider how our actions and decisions are affecting our children's childhood. We must shield them from the pressures of the internet and the unrealistic standards it imposes. Let's not allow the magic of childhood to be diminished. Let's encourage creativity, imagination, and the simple joys of being a child. Let's teach our children that it's okay not to be perfect, that they don't need to compare themselves to anyone else, and that their worth is not determined by their online presence. Remember, each child is unique, each child is precious, and every child deserves a childhood that's carefree and filled with wonder. Let's take a stand today for the sake of our children and their future. Join us in this crucial mission. Protect our children. Preserve their innocence. Let them be children.